Nice. I can't wait for that. Moving to the next ship is the Ares Starfighter Inferno and Ion. These are towards the end of Grey Box, crossing into final art in places. So these are your two single player anti capital heavy fighters. Man. They look good. Like the this, this is a, sort of Yeah, so what I was saying, right? The it looks like this thing has armor these plates on it, it feels. Towards the end of gray box, crossing into final art in places. So these are your two I'm liking the design. Like I feel like these are sort of like armor plates. I don't know. Because it's a heavy fighter. I mean, when, when they put armor in a game, are they like this is one of the questions that I have, right? Once they put armor in the game, are they going to be physicalize armor plates going on the ships or they're just going to be attributes um so that's one of the things that i'm kind of curious how they're going to implement knowing cig i think they may want to put armor plates but i think it will it could also ruin the aesthetics of the ships so i think they may actually just go with hall attributes of um yeah hall attributes of the ships um yeah i think either way it's fine but it would be cool to actually see physicalized armor plates on ships that, i think that would be really cool the next ship is the Ares starfighter inferno and ion these are towards the end of gray box crossing into final art in places so these are your two single player anti-capital heavy fighters the only sort of unknowns that cropped up was where and how we access the components on the ship these were blocked in at concept phase but obviously things change during development we learn a bit more about how to do things more optimally in the engine each ship we do we adjusted the yeah, i'm really loving i man i love this the i love the design language on the, of, of crusader ships man um so what i'm curious about okay so this this looks like the shield generator so the shield generator is right at the top right here life support is right at the top right here what is this is this a container not sure what that is is that did that say radar is that it's not life support it's something it looks it looks like something important because of the red on it Let, let's see cropped up was where and how we access the components on the ship these were blocked in at okay so they blocked them in right here so these are the different components uh your jump drive i think goes here your Set phase but coolers are in here is this the cooler itself it looks like a cooler this this thing right here so maybe this is a glass that allows you to see the coolers um shield generator shield generator what i'm curious about are these the gonna be the shield emitters or are these um maneuvering thrusters i think they're maneuvering thrusters but very soon we're going to be getting shield emitters that are going to be physicalized on the ship so i wonder if these are going to be it but uh, we'll have to see um, things they, um also that was radar right yeah, I can assume. Yeah, radar's coming in soon too. To so optimally in the engine each that makes ship sense. We do. Man, this is beautiful, man. Look at this. Man, I love the design language of this of this uh of this manufacturer, man. What combat ship do you recommend? Um, there isn't one. A, there, there isn't a single combat ship I would recommend. It depends on the scenario, right? If you're going up against um smaller ships it, it's good to go with a fighter um or a medium fighter or an interceptor if you're going to go up against a heavy fighter you're going to need either a medium or an interceptor with support unless you're really confident with your combat skills if you're going up against um for example valkyries you're going up against the larger ships like your hammerheads then you're looking at bringing your vanguards your you know your um maybe your aries um the ion for example i would recommend for like something like a hammerhead something like an idris um the ion and the inferno are going to be solid for those 
So the Ion and the Infernos are going to be more so for the cap ships and, and it's, they're going to be dedicated for taking down pieces like a key, um, key pieces of the capital ships, like your shield generators, like, um, the thrusters of the bigger ships to, you know, kind of put them, uh, in a, in a bad situation. So, um, so yeah, it, it completely depends on what your what your target is you're gonna have to have it's gonna be important for players to own multiple ships for various scenarios so um those are my thoughts on it i love the design that ship is beautiful yeah this, this ship we right here is adjusted beautiful the animation template to get in a little it was using another ship's uh entry and then just trying to frame the huge guns at the side of the cockpit in that is in view scary, in a way that bro. is nice but without interfering with your view massively by having huge amounts of vfx and barrels. hold on is this is this a repeater or is this a cannon because it's three right this is a repeater i was under the impression that this was a cannon or am i wrong If this is a repeater, then it's pretty good. That's pretty good, a size 7 repeater. It will be slower than what's currently in the game, but it's still good. I think with a repeater, you can engage even smaller ships. Maybe your Valkyries. Um, aside from your capital ships, your Corvettes and, and things of that nature, you can still engage ships your size and up. But like the smaller ships, I wouldn't recommend taking an Ares um or um an ion or or an inferno because the, the guns are just not going to be able to hit the the, the 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 smaller fighters you know interfering with your view massively by having huge amounts of vfx and barrel obscuring half your view yeah so one of the things i am concerned is the gun kind of blocking your view like he's saying um right now um there's an issue with the well i don't know if it's fixed now but you know the 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 banu the banu defender with the two arms that come up to the front at first on first implementation it was literally blocking your view and um so they had to fix that i think it's a little i think it's fixed but but it's still there it still ob obstructs your view a little bit so that's one of the things i'm curious about this hopefully it doesn't um obstruct too much of your view um but we'll have to see 